Hello friends, it's Styx. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'd like to talk about my goals for 2020 and do a little bit of a review of how my 2019 went. I definitely have lots of art related goals for this next year. I would like to go over those and get them all down so that in the future I can refer back to this video and just kind of see how the year measured up later on. So let's get into it. Okay, so while I talk at you guys, I'm going to put some random clips in the background for you to enjoy uh, things I've been doing lately with my family or some recent drawings I've been working on. But guys, can you believe it's almost 2020? We're going to be living in the 20s. That's just, that's so weird to me because all I can think of is like the roaring 20s, you know? And it's just, it's come back around. It's so weird. But honestly, such a cool time to be living in, just the technological advances that are being made and everything. Uh, too bad we're going backwards in other parts of our society, but that's a topic for another video. This video is more about personal goals and progress that I have made over the past year. Um, I guess some of it's progress and some of it's backwards progress. And then some goals for next year and what I hope to accomplish. I'm not one of those people who are really big on New Year's resolutions and trying to change my whole self because it's a new year and suddenly everything's different, but I do prefer to kind of take the time to look back and see where I could have improved or what I can do differently next year to make sure more of my goals are met. And this year definitely taught me a lot of lessons. So starting with some of the goals that I had set for myself for 2019, let's go through those and see whether I failed or succeeded at some of those. So one of my goals was to work on traditional art more and fill a sketchbook. I definitely did work on traditional art. I did not manage to fill a sketchbook even halfway, but it's a work in progress and I did start one. So I guess that's, you know, something. I did discover a newfound love for alcohol markers. I am totally in love with working with those. I also tried some gouache, a very tiny bit, and a very tiny bit of watercolor, and those really intimidate me, but I liked them enough that I'd like to do more of them. Another goal I had was to table at a convention, and I did manage to table, although it was at more of a craft fair than a convention, which I think was a good first step. It allowed me to kind of see how a table would work and how I would run one without the pressure of being surrounded by a lot of other artists who actually know what they're doing in a very busy situation. Another of my major goals for this year was to start creating my own sticker sheets and selling them. And that one was pretty successful. I was able to start a Patreon and send out a monthly sticker sheet to my patrons. And I've done that for the past, I think, six months regularly. And it's been super fun and I just really enjoy it. And I love the little community we're building over there on my Patreon. If you like cute stickers and kiss cut sticker sheets and you would like to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description. The sticker sheets that will be sent out for my December Patreon package are these cute little winter burbs. <laughs> They're so adorable. So if you're interested in that, you would just need to sign up before the end of December. The most major goal I had for 2019 though was something I both succeeded and heartbreakingly failed at, and that was to become a freelance artist. At the end of June, I quit my very stable graphic design job for my city and went freelance. I really wanted to work on my Patreon and my YouTube and build up my Etsy store, and those were things that I was actively working on during that time. And part of what helped me be successful here on YouTube was that one of my videos was featured by Jazza, and that was super exciting and super cool. And I know a lot of my subscribers are here because of that one instance. So thank you so much for staying around if you did find me that way. 
So while YouTube, Etsy, and Patreon were goals of mine to build up, the thing that was really intended to support me during this time was doing artwork for an ARPG that I was part of, and unfortunately that's the part that didn't really work out. That part did depend on some other people, and I think if I'm going to try freelance again in the future, which I still really want to, it's going to have to be based solely on my own business and my own intellectual property. Because otherwise there's just, I don't have enough control over what happens to me as an artist. So without the additional income from the ARPG, I was forced to return to work in September. And luckily, it just so happened that a place where I used to work, where my best friend still currently works, had an opening just then for a job I used to have. So it was a job that I really loved doing, and I'm not mad that I'm back doing it again, but I am pretty disappointed at the circumstances that brought it back around. I'm disappointed in myself, and I'm hoping that I can bring my dreams to fruition another way in the future. As far as YouTube goes though, 2019 was a huge year for me. I gained 920 subscribers this year, and that put me across the 1,000 subscriber milestone, which is amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I also posted 55 videos this year, plus this one, so 56 total, which is more than one per week, which I think is great. Although a lot of that was posted in October for Inktober, where I was attempting to post a video per day. Okay, so that's about it for my 2019 YouTube and art review. And now it's time to talk about my goals for 2020. I'll talk about my YouTube goals first. So I'm trying to put these goals in a place that isn't too out there. It's within reach, hopefully, and not crazy, but also something that's not too complacent either. I really want to push myself. So my first goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers this year. And going along with that, I'd like to post videos more often and more regularly. I feel like if that happens, then the subscribers will hopefully come along with that. Um, I have a lot of fun making videos and drawing for them, and I just think sometimes my anxiety gets in the way of me putting pen to paper or pencil to paper or <laughs> stylus to digital tablet. Um, because I have that fear of starting something and once I get started I can usually complete it pretty well but that's what often stops me from posting videos more often is that I just have this anxiety about creating so since I know that about myself I have also put in the goal to not be too hard on myself if I do get behind and don't reach those goals that I set originally and my final YouTube related goal for 2020 is to do more collabs. I love doing collaborations with other artists and YouTubers, and I already have several lined up for the beginning of this year, which is super exciting. As someone who doesn't have a lot of art friends who live close, being able to collaborate with artists from around the world really helps me feel like I'm hanging out with a friend who has similar interests and I love being able to meet people that way and get to know them a bit better. Okay, and now my art-related goals for 2020. I'd really like to stock my Etsy store with at least one new design per month, hopefully more. Right now, I don't have very many designs on there and I'm not really advertising it because it isn't very stocked so I want to get my designs into my store and be prepared to try and build that up this year. I would also like to grow my Patreon and get that to a point where I can offer more tiers and just have more fun with that community. I'd like to continue with my exploration of traditional mediums and try out even more including things like 
oil pastels or maybe some inks and anything else that I haven't thought of yet. If you have any ideas for art supplies you'd like to see me try out and review, please post comments down below. I'm definitely up for hearing some ideas on that. I would definitely like to finish the sketchbook I started this year within the year of 2020. So I'm going to have to do a lot more studies, a lot more live sketching, just whatever I can do to fill those pages in a way that is going to further my skill as an artist. I would also like to start streaming more regularly. I do have a Twitch channel. I'll try and remember to leave that in the description below. And I'd like to try and start streaming every Friday when I'm off work and nobody is at home but me and I can just hang out with you guys and have fun and draw different things, whatever I'm working on. Maybe sometimes play games too, I don't know, it would be fun. I would also like to try out some new product types to offer in my Etsy or maybe through my Patreon. Things like enamel pins, prints, maybe coloring books. I'd love, love, love to create my own sketchbooks, but I am having a really hard time finding a vendor for those types of things. I'm not sure where people get them done, but I'd really like to try and find that out and see if I can get one of those created because I love custom sketchbooks. I have one from Tricky Wagon that I can't wait to get into and I could definitely see myself just collecting those like crazy. I have to rein myself in and actually finish sketchbooks in order to reward myself with more sketchbooks. <laughs> one product that I really want to create and have a specific goal for is a 2021 calendar. And in order to do that, I want to work on one illustration per month that would work as a calendar illustration. So one of my goals for 2020 is to do at least one illustration per month that would work for this calendar. It may end up being something that I'm drawing anyway for a collab or just to try out new mediums or for a YouTube video. But whatever it is, I'd like to finish one illustration per month. So whew, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and finally, we're back to my very last goal for 2020. And it's the one that I'm least sure I'm going to be able to do, but I'd really like to be able to reduce the hours I work at my normal job and get back to doing more freelancing. And that's something I'm not sure I'm going to be able to build up within the space of this one year, but it's definitely a long-term goal that I still have. I loved being a freelancer. I loved working from home and being able to see my family every day and be there for them when they had special events going on, and it really broke my heart when I failed at that. But I'd prefer to look at it as a setback rather than a complete failure, and I would like to keep it as a goal for myself in the future. So guys, those are my goals for 2020 and a little bit of a review on 2019. How did your year go? I hope it was a little less stressful than mine and I hope you got a lot of your goals completed. Do you have any goals for 2020? Comment down below and let me know what they are. I'd love to hear about them. And that's it for the last video of the year. I hope to see you guys more often in the next year. Thank you for being here and supporting me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.